Hey guys, Rookie Lock here. Um, hope everyone's having an awesome day. Um, today I have this Yale Challenge Lock sent to me um, by my buddy ICP Locks. Um, once again, buddy, I I really can't thank you enough for all the uh, all the awesome stuff you sent me. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's just try to get into this thing. I'm actually going to use just a wiper insert in the top there and my Sparrows Offset Hybrid. I'll click out of one, two, Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, most of the locks my buddy uh, ICP sent me are are built with uh, commercial security pins, and uh, I think they were all intended to teach me something about lock picking, whether it be how security pins behave, um, how. How, perfect example how paracentric keyways uh, increase difficulty, how key bit bidding uh, increases difficulty, how um, how tolerances make a huge deal as well. And uh, this one is, I think, a lesson on key bit. Uh, sorry. Uh, Binding order and uh, security pins. Having a hard time just getting the. Okay, there we got a false set off the first three pins. I think we're on number four. Number six dropped us a bit deeper. to get under number six. Even with this offset hybrid. Oh, that was five. Okay, counter rotation number five, I believe. Oh, there, wow, that was pretty quick. It's quickest I've ever had this thing open. Kind of strange too. I, I, I don't quite understand this. Maybe, maybe someone can uh, can cue in in the comments, but uh, I can get it open with that tension wrench quite easily as you just seen but when I use one of my music wire tension wrenches I can't can't seem to get it open at all I don't know why that would be maybe it's just uh, maybe I'm getting some flex on this one and maybe it's giving me a lighter I, I don't know I can't can't quite think about why that would be anyway since we got her open in pretty decent amount of time actually the quickest I've had it open yet Let's take a look what's inside of this thing. This nasty bugger. Almost broke picks on this uh this Yale. That keyway too is probably my nemesis keyway. Uh what else do we need? We need follower. Not that one. That one should do. And tweezers. And oh, I can finally unmummy this key. 
That's actually, excuse me, actually feels really good to get this thing out of my, uh, my unpicked pile, or my naughty bucket. Actually pre-loosened it up. Five pin key, six pin lock. Six pin would be resting on the the tip here, as we all know. Let's get into this. Might as well. Hopefully that key works, because I'm locking this bad boy back up. I'm really hoping this key works. <laughs> I'm sure it would. I didn't expect any less from ICP. It'll hang up, but it turns. That's all that counts. And that should uh, should be good. What's going on here? There we go. Whoa. All six pins. Couple of pretty uh pretty high cut high cut ones. Um I don't expect these to be anything but standards. Yep, all standards. Oh, sorry about the focus, guys. Let's see what we got upstairs. Alright. Um, key pin. Upside down, though. Uh, rounded part facing the spring. Standard. Okay, another key pin, round part facing uh, spring. And there's our little bugger in number four, it was upside down, uh, upside down T pin with with a wafer. Come on. Ooh. It's the way for sick T pin. So another uh, drunk drunken spool or upside down T pin with a wafer and a standard. Actually really surprises me that these uh these upside down T-pins with a wafer, or some people call them drunken spools. It really surprises me how different they act than a regular spool. But uh, the more I think about it, the more it makes sense, because without this top part attached, this is in the plug, and as you get to that false set, you're pushing this lip up into the, uh, the edge of the... Uh, of the chamber above it so it makes it quite 
quite hard to pick actually, especially for a newer uh, picker like myself. But uh, and he put these things in the the best place that you could put them in the lock for sure. I think they probably uh, these are probably the first two binders in the, in the lock. But uh, not with uh, these T pins in those positions. Anyway, that's what we had in there. Um, nothing done to the core, and nothing done to the Bible. All the same springs. Sorry about this focus. One day I'll get a better camera. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys uh, joining me on this one. Um, yeah, if you uh, if you guys know why why that would be, um, why I can pick it with this tensioner and not this one, and I'm I'm serious about that. I tried with this one for almost an hour now and as soon as I put this one in I opened it in three minutes so there's maybe my tensions too heavy maybe I gotta lighten up a bit um, but yeah if you guys know the answer to that er, I always welcome tips and uh, tips and tricks too guys um, you ever see me doing something wrong or something obviously you know what I mean wrong <laughs> uh, don't be shy to put it down there in the comments and as always, guys, um, don't give lock pickers a bad name. Don't pick locks that you don't own or have permission to pick. And uh, have a great one, guys. Take care.